strong performance. You know, we test as independent hers rakers over 200 houses a year with a two-man operation, which means we're really busy. So anything we can do at all to save a little bit of time on the job is something that we're definitely going to invest in. Most recently, that's the Wi-Fi link for the DG700 from the Energy Conservatory. Now, all it is is a little gizmo that plugs into the top of the DG700 and a new speed controller, and you can see that I'm using the duct blaster fan. I actually hurt my back a little while ago, and I needed to make all of my equipment a little bit easier on my back, so I upgraded to this little duct blaster fan and this Wi-Fi controller so I don't have to go up and down the stairs quite so much. Now, there's an application that you can buy, actually it's free, for iPhones and iPads. I don't think it's available for Android yet. Uh, you can also use Tektite on a laptop computer. Now, I tried searching for it at the App Store and I couldn't find it, so I had to go through the link at the Energy Conservatory website. I'll put one down in the description so you can click there and go to it, and then when you click on the app, it opens it up in iTunes and you can download it right onto your device. So once we have the app installed on our device, whether it's the iPhone or the iPad, I happen to use the iPhone because it's a little bit easier to carry around in my holster while I'm working in the house. Once we have it installed, then we install it on top of the DG700, turn the gauge on, and go to our Wi-Fi networks in the iPhone device, and you'll see DG700, and you select that, and it's going to ask for the password. And the password is tech Wi-Fi 12. Join. And now, after just a couple seconds, we'll see the little Wi-Fi logo up at the top of our device. There. Now we're logged on. Now all we have to do is go back to our desktop here, go to our iTech 700 application, and we're in business. We just have to hit the connect. And again, wait a second or two. I heard the gauge click, and it says that we're connected. It's given me a baseline reading and everything, and we're actually ready to go. We're going to do a ResNet one-point depressurization test with this. So you can see that I have a cover on the fan. It's a little bit see-through because the sun's shining on that side of the house. But we're going to hit the baseline. And it's ticking off a number of seconds. So our baseline is uh, 0 0.01, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. There's at least a 10-second baseline. It's a nice calm day right now. So we're going to hit enter and lock that baseline in. And that baseline was fine, so we don't have to bother doing multi-point test or, uh, or mul multiple single-point tests for reduced accuracy. Now, all we have to do is uncover the fan. And then we crank the little slider over. And you can hear the fan starting to kick on. We're trying to get down to minus 50 pascal. You can see that I'm already there. I'm at minus 51.5. I can actually do a cruise control to 55 instead if I want to. So I can turn the fan back down. I can say go to cruise control, cruise to 50, and it starts. Now one thing that this doesn't apparently have is the feature that the gauge has for the uh, interpolation so that it will be pressure and flow at 50. So maybe that's a feature that they'll add later, especially when they add Tektite, so it'll be a fully automated test. So we're cruising, we're at minus 42, 43, 44. You can see we're at about 812 CFMs, 820. 830. And once it gets to that pressure, I can hit time average, take a 10 second time average. And I can do this from anywhere in the house. That's the neatest thing about this. I can use this for doing multiple tests from another location to see what happens. If something happens and I want to shut the fan off and start over again, I can do it right from my phone. You can also use this for doing CAS testing to monitor the gauge 
to see how the pressure in the house changes based on what we've done to the house. So we're at 859 is our average. And I'm going to actually take a picture of my screen. If you don't know how to take a picture of your iPhone screen, you simply push the little home button and the top button at the same time, and it takes a picture of the screen. Because then what I can do is go back to my photos, and I open up that photo of the screen, and I'm going to email it to myself. Just like that. So that's a quick tour of the... Energy Conservatory Wi-Fi link for the DG700. I think it's going to be a big time saver. Thumbs up to them for doing this. And I really hope that they come out with a tech type for fully automated testing with your iPhone or your iPad. That's going to really be the cat's meow. Oh yeah, one more thing. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you'll be notified as soon as I put up more videos. And I promise that's going to be really soon. I'm working on videos for homeowners, for builders, and for home performance professionals about every aspect of home performance. So subscribe now. It's really easy. I'll put a link down at the bottom of the video. If you have any questions on any of the videos that I'll make, then be sure to make a comment down in the comments box, and I'll be sure to get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching.